Now, I recently went down a rabbit hole on something called spontaneous human combustion. And I wanted to talk about, is that a real phenomenon or is it something just totally misunderstood and not real at all? Now, the most famous case of this, the one everybody points to when you talk about spontaneous combustion, is an unfortunate woman named Mary Reeser. In 1951, she was found burned, completely burned, nothing left over, sitting in a recliner, so she was totally combusted, part of the chair was burned, nothing else in the room was actually on fire or even scorched. And so the question is, can the human body, under certain circumstances, in certain conditions, can it generate enough internal body heat to actually spontaneously combust without an external ignition source? The short answer is no, it's not possible. In fact, when you look at these cases, and I've looked at several of them in detail, when you get past the headlines, when you really look at them in any great detail, you'll find that most of the cases, they were usually smoking or had some other ignition source nearby. It wasn't totally clear what was really going on, but it's plausible that a lot of people fall asleep smoking cigarettes, and that is actually the cause of most of these cases. But there's a little more to it if you stick with with me. Now, the human body does generate its own internal heat. Uh, when you get a fever, for instance, your body temperature gets elevated. Our whole body is geared to regulate internal temperatures. And how is that heat generated? Well, there are chemical reactions inside the cell that release energy, exothermic reactions. That energy is what causes our body temperature to be maintained. Now, to actually catch a human body on fire, it would need to reach activation energy or kindling energy, something like 500 degrees Fahrenheit, would be what that would be needed, but our typical body temperature is held at around 98.6 degrees. So the chemistry in our body is just not possible to go from maintaining that typical body temperature about 100 degrees Fahrenheit five times higher in order to self-ignite. But the bigger problem is that our bodies are around 70 or 80% water, and water is an incredible heat sink. It can absorb a lot of energy and then phase change away, taking the heat away. It's difficult to burn wet things. Now, in many of these cases, they think what happened is called the wick effect. There's a lot of fat in the body, and when that fat gets melted, it can kind of wick through the clothing and slowly burn over time. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.